Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining my channel. Today I thought I'd show you this extra set of nails that I did on myself. They are the longest set I've ever done. So I've already gone in and applied my TX Elite tips. I will link them down below for you. And I've applied a thin base of clear acrylic and filed and buffed that into shape. And now I'm going to go in with the design. So on the pinky finger, I'm going to do a marble. It is going to be quite a sheer marble. Um, so I'm using CJP's coconut milk and also crystal glass. I take my first bead and apply that at the cuticle area so that I know I've got a nice flush application at the cuticle area. And then I'm going to take wetter beads place them on the nail and then use the tip of my brush to marble those into one another. And I'm going to do this the whole way down the nail. Um, not worried about the structure because I will be encapsulating this nail. So I am working quite thin just so that when it comes to encapsulating it, they're not mega thick. So I go in, pat that all into place. And then I am going to add some pigment to this nail and also some glitter. So here is the pigment. This is Glitterati Nails Unicorn Magic. Um, and I'm just picking up that with my brush, nothing on the brush. I just pick it up on the brush, place it where I want it, and then use my brush to sort of press that about the nail where I want the pigment to be. Then I'm picking up a small wet bead of clear acrylic and also picking up some arctic wolf again from glitter arty nails this is such a beautiful glitter and i really think it complements these nails so well and i'm just applying that randomly down the nail and then i'll wait for this to fully set before going in and encapsulating it so that we don't move anything and make it all out of place next i'm going to go on to the index finger so on this finger i'm just going to do a plain ombre so I take CJP's coconut milk, place that halfway down the nail, and then I use my brush to sort of feather that down over the natural nail slightly. And then I bring that up over the rest of the nail. The reason that I sort of blend it down onto the natural nail plate is so that when we put our cover pink on, we're not going to have a harsh line where the white is. You can have a nice soft blend. So I'll keep working with the white until I'm happy. And then I am going to go in with the pink that you've probably all seen and all sick of seeing. Um, it's the pink that I made myself, but I will let that set before going in with my nail bed colour. And then I'm going to do exactly the same on the middle finger, applying my white, pushing that down into place and then blending that down towards the cuticle area so that we've got a nice blend finish once we've put our cover pink on i wasn't too worried on this nail um because i am going in with some glitter and stuff so i wasn't too worried about the blend and stuff like that but just trying to work neat but this is the first time i've ever done a set of nails this long so they do look quite messy when we get towards the end <laughs> and i did have to file for ages um but they did work out pretty so next I'm going back to the index finger whilst the middle finger sets and applying my pink. This is the pink that I made. You've seen it in a lot of videos now because it's my favourite. And I apply my first bead at the area where the white meets the nail. And I just bring that up over the rest of the white. Then I go in with a cuticle bead, making sure my cuticle area is nice and flush. And again, bring that up and then I'll just keep applying it until I'm happy and I will be encapsulating this nail as well so again I'm not too worried about the structure of the nail or the apex and then I'm going to do exactly the same um, on the middle finger so I will let you guys just watch that so you don't have to listen to me rambling on So once I was happy, I'm then going to go back in 
on the middle finger using the Arctic Wolf. So again, I just pick up a clear bead of acrylic and pick up some of the Arctic Wolf. And I'm sort of doing this in a diagonal kind of line across the nail. Um, and then I go in with, again, some of the Unicorn Magic Pigment. This is what it looks like here. I sort of spread it out more than I usually would because I am going to be going in with some flowers on that nail. And I wanted to use that as sort of a background for the flowers. So once I've done that, I'm going to let that set and move on to the thumb. On this one, I'm going to do a marble ombre. So again, taking my CJP coconut milk, my crystal glass, and this time I also added in a bit of the pink. Um, the cover pink colour that I made and again I'm just applying those from the tip uh, sorry from the free edge of the natural nail all the way up the tip of the nail marbling them in one another and then I apply a small amount of the pigment which is the unicorn magic so I'll let you just watch this And then I'm going to go in with some of the Arctic Wolf again using clear acrylic to pick up that glitter and I'm just applying that diagonally across the nail. Then I'm going to wait for this to set before I go in with my cover pink because it will all just merge into one and look a mess. So I will wait for this to fully set before I go in and finish this nail off with the ombre. So whilst the thumb's setting, I'm going to go in and encapsulate the um, pinky, the middle finger and the index finger, again using CJP's crystal glass. And I'm applying my first bead in the centre of the nail and bringing that up over the tip of the nail. Then I go in with my cuticle bead and then I basically just add beads of acrylic until I'm happy. There is no rule to say that you have to do a set of nails in one bead or two beads or whatever. Um... I certainly don't, and I definitely don't on this length. Um, but yeah, I just go in and encapsulate everything, making sure that all my glitter is fully encapsulated so that when I come to file, I don't file it all off. And then once I've done that, I will go back and finish off the thumb. Going back to the thumb, I'm taking that same cover pink, placing it at the cuticle area, and then I'm bringing it up over the marble and the glitter, not all the way over, just slightly so that we get that nice ombre blend. And I'll keep working with this and keep building until I'm happy. And then I will go in and encapsulate this nail as well using the CJP's crystal glass. So now I'm going to go in on the ring finger using coconut milk. Again, just placing that on the nail and feathering that down towards the cuticle area and all the way up over the tip. I'm not doing an ombre nail, but I wanted this to sort of be a background colour for the flowers. Then once that's set, I'm going in with Model Wands Nail Foil Glue Gel and I'm applying that to just the tip of the nail where I want the flowers to be. And then I'm going to cure this for two minutes in my LED lamp. I find the longer you cure it, the better it sticks. Then I'm taking the bouquet of flowers number, I think this is number one. It's either number one or number seven um, from Glitter Arty Nails. And I just place that on the nail and then rip it off. For some reason, some of them just wouldn't stick. Um, but I didn't mind that anyway, because I was going to go in with another coat of the foil gel and then another layer of the flowers anyway because I wanted them to have sort of a, a layered look to them so I just go in with my flowers all over the tip of the nail 
Then again, going in with my nail glue gel. Sorry, foil glue gel. I don't know what it's called. Curing that again for two minutes and then going in with another layer of the flowers. Then I'm going to top coat just the area. Look how pretty that is. So pretty. I'm just going to top coat the area where the flowers are. Cure for one minute and then I'm going to just fill the edges and just slightly buff very gently over the surface because if I applied acrylic to this now it wouldn't stay. It would just peel away. So once I've buffed them I'm then going to get rid of the dust and I'm going to go in at the cuticle area with my custom pink and I'm applying my first bead and then bringing that up over the flowers and then I'll go in with another bead at the cuticle area. I think this is my favourite nail, I thought it was so pretty. And this is perfect for anyone that's like me that isn't very good at nail art, like I'm rubbish at freehand nail art, so this is perfect for me. <laughs> And then once I'm happy with that blend, I will then go in and encapsulate this nail as well. So again, I'll be encapsulating using CJP's crystal glass. And then once these nails were fully set, I did go in and file. I did get it on camera, but literally I was so out of shot. It was just ridiculous. <laughs> um, so I have cut the filing out, but all I did was I just went in with a 100 grit nail file the surface of the nails, the cuticle area, the side walls and the free edge, making sure that they were as a neat shape as they could be and this is what they look like. They're not the perfect shape, I've got to work on my shaping but I was happy with them. Then again I'm going to take the foil glue gel and I'm taking this cute little bouquet of flowers here and I'm just applying the foil gel in the centre of this nail, again curing for two minutes and then I'm going to place on the little bouquet of flowers. I just thought this would look really cute. In the centre of the nail, pressing that down and then ripping it off really, really quickly. <laughs> I find if you rip it off really fast, it works better. And then once I was happy with that, I then went in and top coat the rest of the nails. They're so pretty. I was really happy with how these turned out. I thought they looked just so cute. There was a little bit missing that I wanted to add. So I just placed that back on and then rip it off. So now I'm going to go in and top coat. So I'm using a no wipe top coat, applying that to all of the nails to bring out that beautifulness. And then I'm going to cure for one minute LED, two minutes if you're using UV. Then I will wait for these to cool down once they've come out of the lamp before going in and applying cuticle oil if you go in with your cuticle oil straight away it will dull the nails so do make sure that you wait for them to cool down before you go in with your cuticle oil um i am using the cherry cuticle oil i'll link that down below for you as well and any discount codes that i've got i will leave down below for you so i'm gonna let you guys watch this thank you so much for watching I really hope you like this set. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I next upload. But I hope you're all safe. I hope you're all well. And I will see you all soon. Bye.